You have a question for Psychic Tita? Stand on up. This is a, a question that um, it's very important to me about my song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've written a song, and I want more than anything else this one wish for this, my song, because I sang it for my dad before, just a week before he passed on. And he liked it, and he said he was going to be listening for it. Um, and he didn't know he was going to pass the next week, and I didn't. And the song, it's like it, it was meant to be, just meant to be written. And I, I want to know, is there any future for it? As, am I ever going to get anywhere with it to have it recorded by anybody where it's going to be played on the radio? Um, not until he learns a certain lesson. He has to, um, he has to own up to the, some of the things he's done. My father? Oh, I, I don't understand what you, what you mean. Well. Um, I mean, he passed away. Uh, he was a very good man. Well, reincarnation. But uh, now, how does that affect my song, though? Um, I'm I sorry, I can't hear oh, you very well. Um, I was wondering, because uh, I wrote the song and I sang it for him, but is there any hope for my song that I, that I, uh, is anybody going to ever record it nationwide that it's going to be heard on the radio? He'll be back, you know, he'll, he'll reincarnate. And he all, probably, when did he die? A year ago, November. He I probably don't. hasn't come back yet in oh. another life. I don't think he did. She's wondering about her song. <laughs> she, she wrote a song and she wants to know if it's going to get recognition. You have to get it, get out there, <laughs> knock on doors. Oh, I, I am, I am. It's um, all the doors are closed now. She's read for celebrities such as the Saturdays and Gwyneth Paltrow, making Essex girl Jane Wallace one of the UK's most celebrated psychics. Well, today Jane claims that uh, she can reveal key personality traits about our three mystery celebrities just by holding objects that belong to them. So if you grab a hold of that one there. And, uh, and what do you say about the person? Can I just say something quickly? I haven't yeah. read for Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, have you? Not? Oh, oh, you should. I don't know where I should. Yes, yes if you you're should. there, Gwyneth, come visit. Oh, oh, but yeah, I just oh, wanted to hilarious. say that. So yes, that came from your press. My press? Yes, absolutely. Yes, okay. See, never read your own press. No. This is our first mystery celebrity. I feel a real strong creativity with her. She's passionate. You know it's a her. Yep, it's, well, it's, it's a, a feminine watch. watch. Well, yes, of course. Watch, right? I feel a real strong passion. She's driven, she's artistic, she's creative. I get words and writing. And she's not flamboyant, she's very sophisticated. But I feel there's a very strong sort of flamboyance about her. Okay. And an amazing friend. She's very loyal. And I feel with her very much what you see is what you get. What you okay. see is what you get. Loyal. No walks and all. Right. She, she's, as you see, so, that's how so she So career, is. what sort of career? Career-wise, I'm career going to say either anything. writing, creative. So she's somebody, either she's got a book or it feels almost feeling of writing. I don't feel actress. I just feel I want to write or she's very good with psychology. Okay. Ah, okay. So she's quite analytical in a way and a, a very, very deep thinker. Anything else that would pinpoint her for her to say, oh, yes, that's a very personal thing? I think home life is happy. Um, she's, I would say, grounded, safe and secure. That's how I see her. There's certain areas that I can't mention, there's certain things that I can't say, uh -huh. but I feel, for me, it feels really, really great. She's a good person. Let's okay. see. Let's bring this person I'm in. No in you come. Cameras. Who is that person? It's a man. And it is, oh. it's a man. Oh. It is a woman. Oh, I don't mean that rudely. It's a man. Oh. In you come. Are you sensitive? Well, yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Come, on, come and take a seat. Have a seat, Lionel. So obviously, How lovely Lionel, to see you. you. Are so not major gender a issue there. No, and, not um, at all. And uh, so I'm what? Writing? Uh, no. No, no, don't write. Totally wrong. No, no, no wrong there. Um, what were the other things that you mentioned? I don't know. What did you mean? Uh, family life. Family. Sensitive, well, I've been married forty-five gentle. years. Yeah. I've got three children. Aww. Yeah. Three grandchildren. Yeah. And when my mother died, she only left a little bit of money. See, he said it. I weren't allowed to say it. That was yeah. what I was li linking with. Sorry. Well. And anyway, the money that she—I wasn't going to spend it. 
I bought that, that watch. watch. That's, oh, that's maybe why it's gentle that's and feminine. That's a lovely story. But that was a major miss, I have yeah, to say. Major miss. Yeah, I'm sorry. Been further, further wrong then. Hi there, Ian. Hello. Hello there. So, okay, I want to talk about um, career matters and work with you. Is that the sort of main thing at the moment? No, not at the moment. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So I don't think you're teaching or something like that. But it seems to be dealing with quite a lot of children, but they're older children as opposed to younger children. But it's not just the children, it's adults as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't really thought about it at the moment. Please, your mother in the spirit world? No. Um, is mother-in-law in the spirit world? I've got mum no. here. No, Is there anyone else you used to call mum? Or was known to the family as mum by? Um, it's mum and... <laughs> She won't give me any more information, she just keeps calling Mum and um, giving me March birthday passing anniversary with her. No. Someone who was wanted a son, so it's someone that didn't want a son. Uh, or didn't have a son, um, sorry, but wanted one. So I'm being called to time. I'm sorry, I've run there. out of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank uh, you. Bye. bye. There's a million dollar cash prize for anyone who can demonstrate supernatural powers. Let's meet contestant number one. My name is Jesse Bravo. And I'm a stockbroker by day, but by night, I'm a psychic and I speak to dead people. Here are the rules for Jesse's test. Twelve envelopes. Inside, photos of 11 random living people and one very famous dead person. To win, Jesse has to locate that dead person nine out of 12 times. Hi, Jesse. Yes. Like a game show. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you very much. The odds of winning by luck are about one in a million. But Jesse, of course, isn't counting on luck. What I try to ask is, whoever is gone, will you please just show me which envelope they're sort of contained in? You believe that's a dead person? Are you ready? But the spirits didn't answer. Jesse's first pick was this girl, and she's very much alive. Attempt two. Are you ready? This one is a live person. Strike two. He was supposed to find Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. We know he's dead, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm considered very good at what I do, and boy, am I bombing. Yep. You believe that this is a dead person? I'm hoping so. After another failure... It's a live person. A live person. Internally, I was crumbling. It's Jesse Bravo's last chance. Well, wow, that was very direct. Well, that one very strongly, I'm guessing. I'm trying different techniques. Okay. This one is? It's live. I think? Yeah. You're right. It's live. Jesse may have failed, but he says the problem wasn't with him. It was with the test itself. Asking an envelope, an inanimate object, to answer a question, it's a really tough thing to do. Maybe there's other people that can do that. I'm not one of them, obviously. Do you make your living as a psychic? Yes, and I do actually do energy work and healing work, and I channel as well. Channeling spirits? Mm. I sort of, I, I bring energy in and, yeah, from, from the angelic realms. <laughs> Here are the rules for Georgia's test. To win, she has to match the palm print to the correct bio nine out of 12 times. This is not a lot of information to work from, to be honest, but no, we will work with what we have here. 20 minutes of mixing and matching later, Georgia has chosen a palm print for each bio. Okay. Excellent. Can I get you all to stand, please? It's her million dollar moment of truth. I'm going to ask you to look at the bios that are on your sheets, please. If this is your bio, I want you to turn it towards the camera, not yet. If it's not your bio, I want you to crumple it up. Now. Crumple it. Everyone wrong. <laughs> oh. No, you didn't get everyone. One right. You got one right. Whoa. You got one right. But you did not get the million dollars. No. You weren't just a little off. You were very off. Yeah. How convinced are you that you're going to win a million dollars? I'm convinced. I, I have great confidence in my abilities. Here are the rules for Paula's test. She'll be given the 12 biographies. Then she'll do a tarot card reading on each subject. To win, she has to match the person to the correct bio nine out of 12 times. Paula gets in the hot seat and starts her first reading. So I, I see that you're a person that's ambitious. You're involved in your work situation. I feel like you could be making more money. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. And this is your final answer? Yes. She's just chosen the bio for the 12th and final subject. On Banachek's signal. Now. 
Oh, it looks like you've got one right. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, you mm -hmm. do not get the million dollars. Okay. So this doesn't make you think twice as to whether or not you're psychic? No. I still believe I'm psychic. This gold watch here. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to want to ask him, what is it that means something to me in this room? It's not hidden anywhere. It's, we've not tried to be tricky about it. Just tell me about this gold watch. If he says that, then we've got an interesting story. What would be the one thing he could tell me? And it was, a, it was an object. Was it a toy car, please? Is that what you're, you're, you're going to give me? That's what I want to give The object in the room. I'll give you that much. So the object's here. Somewhere in the room. I'm not going to start looking around because if I say, like, it's that, it's that, it's that, you've put the thoughts in there. I'm not saying it's, yeah. it's in the room. So all you have to do is, if it's definitely here and you're channeling now, all you would have to do is go, it is, mm. It's you. It's you. It's nothing else. But there's, there's, an ob there's an object that wants I'm not his. picking up any object. My mind would say that, my head would pick up that, but I don't think it is. That's my head picking that up. I haven't looked around your room, so I don't know what it is. I really don't. I'm not going to start milking it and say what it could be. If I had to have a guess, mm -hmm. if it wasn't that, it was that chair. But that's it. No. No, I'm not picking it up. Do you need to touch the items? No, because I think I'd be <laughs> plucking at some sort of... What I was drawn to when I first came in here, okay, was that. Mm -hmm. Makes, okay. Yeah. It's not that. I thought it was stuck to that, but no. No, we're, we're p pushing it now, we're milking it, and I've got three items wrong up to now. Mm -hmm. The law of averages will say, I'm going to get it soon. <laughs> and I don't want to do that, because what happens if it's 10th down the line? What was it? So it's the gold watch. It was a gold watch. Yeah, so when I was younger, I would pull on the band. What I'd like you to look at when you go back on the film is where I pointed when I said it to you. Where did I point? To you. I may have been pointing at you. I may have been pointing at the watch. It's you. I don't know, but I did definitively say. But you didn't say the watch? No, though. I didn't say the watch. I don't want to make it fit. But it'd be weird yeah, if you think. Fun. But you'd think that. I'd think that I'd pick that up. It, it would, may you I read for you? Okay, yeah, yeah. I need you to be open minded about everyone living and deceased. Do you know the names of people deceased and living? Grandparents, parents. Okay, I see an M or J person. Do you have somebody, family, that is a J or an M? I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Is it a J or M? M. A J M. Is it a male? Or female M, I don't know. Female. Is it spelled M A? Yeah. R? Yeah. Like Mary? Yeah. Is that your mom? As my daughter. Or your, your, oh, it's your daughter. Was your daughter's there, okay, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, I mean, well, she's, I don't know she's living. Around. But is there another Mary or Marie uh, deceased or middle name like this from your husband's side? No. Okay, I think there may be. But anyway, um, is she starting um, a new project or a new after school something or a new. Um, I don't know what my daughter's doing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk that very much be, anymore. Have you met her? Be, that's <laughs> not good. And maybe I yeah. should shift you over to Larry. Yeah. I'm and done. does she? <laughs> and, and I'm seeing. Right. Yeah. Did, is there? Is there? Does she have a boyfriend? She's only. <laughs> she's only six. So she's only six. Not. Okay. I let you know. Okay. I I mixed we up about. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know how old you she was. Know. Okay. So how do you explain? You failing miserably here to predict well, the Well, that's part of my second, fault. But it's part of my yeah, fault. Yeah, but Mary. I picked up on Mary. I said it's her yeah, daughter. Yeah. Is that your mom? That's my daughter. Or your, your, oh, it's your daughter. When I was five years old, I had a boyfriend. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't you? I don't know. So, <laughs> well, you didn't say Mary. You said an M or a J. I yeah, mean, but, I, right. I got an M and a J in my it, family. You got an M and a J in your family? Mary? Most people are, are very respectful and, you know, and really uh, nice about it, <laughs> except for Larry. <laughs> except well, you, Larry. you didn't, you failed. You know what, Larry, here's the deal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to read for you. Yeah. Not, we'll, we'll do this um, off camera, yeah. if you allow me to read for you. Sure. And then I'll come back on the show. Okay. And you will be the one to decide if what you feel is, is truth or not. Oh, okay. With the reading. Now, I, I hope you, you hit to, it out of the park as well as you, you did here to, today. You need, to, <laughs> you need to be honest, though. Oh, well, uh, my father passed away in November. And yes. 
I want to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. He does a funny thing, says his legs are good, his feet are legs, uh -huh. you know, it makes sense. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and he does a dance, like a little shuffle dance. It has to be funny to you, I believe. Okay. And, and uh, his love, my love, my love, my heart. No, he said my heart. You're, you're his heart, he said. And, uh, make sense? Uh, yeah, it does. Are we close to him? Oh, very close, very, yeah. very close. Well, what's his leg thing? What's the feet yeah. thing? Uh, you know what? He, he, he had cancer and he was losing his ability to walk, uh, you know, towards the end. But uh, that, you know, was the only that thing. all lasted for like a, a week, you know. Yeah, that scared him. He was very afraid because he thought he would never walk again. And he says, uh, in heaven, I guess he's fishing, he shows me. Because there's water right next to where he is. Was he a fisherman? No, no, he was a musician. Well, he's yeah. right by the... Uh -huh. right. He's holding a pole, so I don't know. Uh -huh. Ben? Yes? Let's do you know who you are? Have um, you been in the house before? I've, I've, said, I've said a hello. We turned up and I said a hello. But, yeah, uh, so you've been in, you've, you've met these people? I have, I have briefly met them, yes, I have. Thank yep. you. Oh, there was some type of split up um, going back quite a while. No. Is the Jimmy or James connected? No. She's saying yes on grandfather's side? No. There's one particular person that I know was trying to get through to me. They said if there's a way of coming through, they will find it. Yeah. Is the Paul connected with you? Um, Paul. We have a Paul, yeah. What does um, my mum want to say about Paul? She, I, 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 I don't, all I know at the moment is that there was some type of connection with Paul. I don't know if there's been a, some, some spot of bother or something happened around Paul, but I know is that she was specifically talking of a Paul. No, that doesn't make any sense. OK, that's fine, that's mm -hmm. fine, yeah. But you seem to be trying to... as if I need to prove to you. No, I'm very open-minded. I was hoping... Yeah. No, no, very open-minded. Yeah. I was hoping for something more definite. How, um, how you managed to come in and have a reading? How was it arranged? Yeah. I, I um, applied to have a reading done. F to who? To the advert. So, you, so, you, so you've met Darren? Yes, yeah, so to get. You just told me, Darren, that you haven't been here. No, no, so anyway, no, no, I'm no, going to no, say no, thank, no. You okay. and thank you with that. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. OK, talk to me. You, you seem unhappy. Well, I'm unhappy because you told me a blatant lie Which and was? you see, you told me that you had not been in this house. I told you I had been in that house. No, you told me you had not been in this house. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've been in, you've, you've met these people. I have, I have briefly met them, yes, I have, Thank yeah. you. But is that, don't you think that's absolutely terrible? That, to me, is terrible. You've got to draw a fine line of be, what yeah. is real and what is sick. Yeah. Yeah, and some of the things what I do is real because I am touching people, right, and in a nice things? way. Hello, everybody. Um, you know, it is um, John F. Kennedy here. Uh, the part I want to say, like, is um, the accents and English and, um, you know, and this, that and the other. But everyone learns accents up there just like that. You know, but th this is Kennedy.